Hello and welcome to the Getting Started episode of our how-to series for your new VO2 Master Analyzer. My name is Valerie, and I will be your virtual onboarding assistant. In this episode, we're going to explore what comes in the Analyzer Kit and what you need to do to perform your first VO2 Master Assessment. Taking a closer look at what comes in the kit, you'll notice that it comes in a durable, travel-friendly, black protective case. This protective case is waterproof and designed to withstand whatever your daily routine demands. As we look inside, you will find the following items. Proper storage instructions, a quick start guide, a certificate of calibration, a user mask sizing gauge, and a simple cleaning kit. Below these items, you'll see a new VO2 Master Analyzer sealed with a user piece and filter disc already installed, including a reusable half-gram dry-and-dry desiccant packet to ensure dryness. Next to the analyzer, you will see a Hans Rudolph blue mask and matching headgear over a reusable 20-gram dry-and-dry desiccant packet and a Polar H10 heart rate monitor. Also included in the kit, you will find a silicone calibration adapter, required for calibrating without a mask, triple A batteries, provided for North American residents only, 50 filter discs, a replacement desiccant cartridge, a calibration syringe adapter, two additional user pieces for RMR and CPET testing with corresponding locking nuts, and finally, a tool to assist in securing and removing the user pieces and locking nuts. As you may have noticed at the beginning of this episode, the kit also includes a separate Hans Rudolph, adjustable three liter syringe, and two flexible calibration syringe tubes, one being an extra. You'll learn more about these components a little later during the calibration process. We can now continue with setup and assembly. Prior to performing any VO2 master assessment, we must complete a simple three-step process. Step one, we must select the type of test we are going to perform, either a performance or RMR test, as each test requires a different calibration process. For a performance test, we'll require the calibration syringe to be set to three liters, and the RMR test requires the syringe to be set to one liter, the remaining calibration procedures stay the same. For the duration of this episode, we will be referencing the performance test in our examples. Now that we have chosen a test type, we can now begin with step two, assembly. We will start by ensuring the calibration syringe is set to the correct volume of 3.0 liters based on our chosen test type. If you are required to set your syringe volume, use the provided hex key to loosen the lock collar just enough to freely slide it along the plunger arm until it reaches the correct volume position, then secure it into place. We will now select the appropriate mask size, matching headgear, and user piece for our chosen test type and test subject, or athlete. At this point, you may be wondering which user piece to use. A performance test will require either the medium or large user piece. An RMR test will require the resting user piece. For additional information on user pieces, please refer to page 10 of the Quick Start Guide or visit the FAQs on our website from the link provided. For our example, we will be using the medium user piece, indicated by the letter M embossed in the center of the user piece, seen here. I also want to mention that prior to this step, we have removed the pre-installed user piece, battery door, and filter disc. As we continue with assembly, we'll now insert a single triple A battery into the battery compartment, sealing it with the battery door. Note that the battery door will not stay in place until a user piece has been fully installed. Moving forward, we will now insert one of the provided filter discs into the user piece interface. Once in position, we will then thread in our previously selected user piece. Now that we have the analyzer fully assembled, we can either use the blue mask or the silicone adapter for calibrating the analyzer. But before we start the calibration process, we must ensure that the VO2 Master Manager app is installed onto our preferred iOS or Android device. If you have not installed the mobile app yet, you can find it on the Apple or Google Play stores using the links provided. Once the app has been installed, you will be required to create an account for your organization and a user also identified as athlete in order to continue to step three, calibrating your VO2 Master. If you have chosen to use the silicone adapter during calibration, ensure that the analyzer is positioned with the breathing port facing up and the tab of the adapter is facing down. 
This keeps the analyzer aligned and elevated above the working surface during calibration. For our example, we will be using the blue mask for the calibration process. With the analyzer fully assembled, we will push the user piece through the opening of the blue mask until the mask is resting on the user piece's shoulder. Next, we will thread on the calibration syringe adapter. Once in position, we can now connect the calibration syringe flexible tubing to the syringe adapter and to the syringe. Note that the analyzer is to be positioned with the breathing port facing up during calibration. Ensuring the analyzer is properly connected to the syringe, we will then power on the analyzer and allow it to remain undisturbed until the zero calibration process has been completed. This is identified by the pulsing indicator light changing from royal blue to cyan. We will now connect the analyzer to the VO2 Master Mobile app by tapping the device's icon on the right-hand side of the app menu displayed at the bottom of your mobile device. Note that you will also use the device's view when connecting to other third-party devices. Once in the device's view, tap on the device named VO2 Master that is also followed by a series of numbers as seen here in the device list. Once connected, you will then need to select or create an athlete profile. Once you have selected an athlete profile, tap on the record icon at the left-hand side of the app menu. In this view, tap on the red setup arrow icon. You will then be navigated to the protocol view where you will select the appropriate protocol based on your assessment. Here, you also have the option to create your own protocols based on the five standard ones provided. However, for our example, we will select the graded exercise test. We will then be navigated to the test parameters view where we can set the performance measure and the intensities and durations for the warm-up, test, and cool-down phase. Note that these are already set at a default value for this protocol. However, you have the freedom to adjust these parameters as you feel necessary. Tap Next to continue with athlete confirmation. Ensure that the athlete you selected previously is displayed in this view and tap Next. You will then be navigated to Session Details, where you can enter any test-specific details or notes. Tap Next to continue to user piece and mask size confirmations. Here, you will need to select the appropriate user piece and mask size chosen during step one. Once you have confirmed the user piece and mask size, you will then continue to flow calibration. Confirm the set volume for the calibration syringe and tap the start button to initiate the first part of the calibration process. Once completed, you will continue to the final part of the oxygen sensor calibration process. Follow the calibration instructions for each step provided within the app. Once you have completed all the calibration processes, you may now disconnect the analyzer from the syringe adapter and finish securing the mask onto the analyzer with a provided locking nut, use the tool provided as required, then place the VO2 master analyzer onto the athlete or test subject. You are now ready to start your first VO2 master assessment. Thank you for watching the Getting Started episode in our How To series. My name is Valerie, and I trust this episode helped you get acquainted with your new analyzer and set you off on the right foot. If you found this video helpful, please tap the like button, as this will help us create future episodes. If you have any additional questions or feedback, please feel free to reach out to us via our website from the link provided, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified when new episodes become available. Thank you.